Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebot 2001 X 10X. Um, legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. And there we go. Welcome to Undertale, everybody. My name is the Crimsy Dude, and this is my very long-awaited commentary series of Undertale. Um, my dear friend Sweetie Candy, or Derpy, has been asking for this series for about four months now. And, oh, there we go, there's the opening casting again. Uh, yeah, let's skip that. So, let's get right, right into it! I'm gonna play this with an Xbox controller, and uh, this is totally blind. Never played the game before, I've just heard some of the music, and I can already tell I'm gonna love the music in this game. I love these classic retro 8-bit, 16-bit sounds, whatever you want to call it. Um, right, so uh, while I'm doing this series, I'm gonna put it up on YouTube as I'm recording it. And I just want to say that I will not tolerate any spoilers of any kind. I've heard that there are multiple ways to beat the game, multiple endings. And um, I don't want anyone to say, to like, do this, do that, and something. No spoilers whatsoever. But um, any other type of comment is okay. Just no spoilers and no telling me what to do or what not to do. So, if you're ready and your mind is set, we are gonna begin playing this game blind for the first time. <clears throat> Let's do this. Name the fallen human. Yeah, I guess it's going to be me. So let's go with Crimsy. I like that the letters shake about. Um, there we go. No. Doing this with the stick is kind of hard. There we go. Done. Is this name correct? It sure is. Just keep on zooming. So I will be sure. There we go. And that's supposed to be me. Nice. Um, oh, I can walk around. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm one of those people who um, always put gameplay before graphics. And I guess some people would say, oh, what the hell is this? This looks so weird. But I like it when it's primitive. I like it. Easy to understand, and the gameplay is nice and fluid, and I'm gonna expect that from this game. I'm not gonna pick that up. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower. <sighs> hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Oh. Okay, I didn't have much of a choice. See that heart? That is your soul. The very com culmination of your being. And I can move it around, okay? Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of levels. Or level. What levels stand for? Why? Love, of course. <laughs> All right. I was wrong. It's love. You want some love, don't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. I shall... Um, I sh I'll share some with you. And he winks. Down here, love is shared through... Little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Okay. 
Did I? You idiot! Did I touch the border? In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh wow. Die. Okay, that um, that went fast. That escalated quickly. I'm not gonna die, boy. I've played enough bullet tail games to know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I almost like that character. What a terrible creature. Torturing such a poor innocent youth. Let me torture you instead. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. So let's see, he says uh, you're the first human in a long time. So I'm gonna guess that we're gonna see something with a past human here. Or is that just... You know, they say that and it never comes up again. I hope it does. Because some some games say stuff like that. Oh, you're the first human in a long time, but you never hear anything about what, what happened to the other human, you know. And I, I'm curious about that stuff. This way. Uh, how about no? Oh, what? I nice, I can. Now he's going to chase me like, Crimson, you stupid fucking dick! Well, I want my flower bed. No, no flowers. They must have broken your fall. Just like in Majora's Mask with the Deke flower. And that got me thinking, am I dead now? Or am I not? Just like in Majora's Mask, is Link dead or not? Let's go right. We can't. And it's been a while since I played uh, a game with these, you know, bit colors and bit graphics. It feels so nice and it's modern. And that's what I really like about it. A modern game with uh, bit colors and bit music. If you call it that. Are these... Uh, like red leaves, rose pellets. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Okay, HP fully restored. Oh, I can save my game with these. Nice. So those uh, flashing stars are um, stars are the saving feature, I would guess. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Am I supposed to walk the same way as he did? I guess not, he already did it. No, 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 I want to read this. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Okay. I love the music, okay? I just, mm, I've already heard some of it before uh, through friends, but uh, oh, damn it, uh, it's it's too good. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Oh, some tutorial shit. How about this one? Stay on the path. Okay. But uh, in order to read that text, I had to go off the path, so what the hell, man? <laughs> Press Z to read signs. Um, I guess that's just my accept button on the Xbox controller. Now, excuse me if I am quiet in some parts, because I'm gonna listen to the music a lot. Please press the switch. Tutorial. It seems more like a switch you pull down and not press. Yeah, you see? What the hell? Do you really need three arrows for that? <laughs> Please press the switch too. For real. No. How about this one? No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Hmm. I guess I will do as he says. <laughs> Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Ow! Ow! <laughs> As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. Um, the process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation, okay? Stall for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. 
It is some kind of mental hospital I'm gonna talk to. You encountered the dummy! Okay, so what shall we do here? Uh, okay, I should post the press when it's in the middle, right? Stands around absent... Absent min mindedly. I can't pronounce that, I really suck. And there we go. Was that a friendly conversation? It seems like I slashed him. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Now the dummies are not for fighting. They are for talking. We don't want to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. But what was I supposed to do? How did I... How was I supposed to talk to him? There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I should come up with some kind of voice for her, but... Uh, I'm not very good with voices. Oh? Frogit attacks you. He seems kind of sad. Alright, so how do I talk to him? Uh, fight? Can I switch? It's just in uh, fight. I can't go to the other ones, right? No? Okay, I can. Uh, act. Um, compliment. Um, okay. Didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Okay. <laughs> He's like... Okay. <laughs> He's like, you better go, you fucking... Okay, nice. So that's how I do it. I like she just went in there and looked at him. Um, the western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay. So the room over here is the blueprint for the left one. Okay. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh! Okay. And that's pretty damn close. Feels like a mix between Lufia and uh, the old Final Fantasy games. I like it. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Can I go back that way? I like my eyes, I'm like, yeah, whatever, man. It's all good. You have done ex excellently, excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Are you gonna kill me too? I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh? Oh? Don't do this to me! You, know, you see, I won't even stay on the path. You're not gonna scold me for that? No? What's with the music, man? Uh, stats? Okay, I have a stick and bandage as armor. And nothing else. This makes me nervous! Don't do this to me this early in the game. You're supposed to be nice with the tutorials and easy fights and make me understand the story. I'm not sure what the hell is going on here. I'm not gonna touch that thing. Oh. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise, okay? To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. Is this a test too? It's dangerous to explore by yourself. Take the sword with you. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Okay. That changes the aspect of the world. <laughs> um, if you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright. You didn't give me my number! I mean, your number. I don't... How do I use a phone? I'm six, and what is this? Alright, so this game doesn't have uh, random monsters, monster encounters. Okay, maybe. You can see the monsters before you... You know, encounter them. Hello, this is Toriel, that was fast. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. So. Say hello. Uh, okay. <laughs> Call the mom. About yourself. Dialing. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Oh, I'm asking about her. Okay. Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. 
I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. Okay, so she wants me to stay here. I kind of want that as well. The music is so nice. But it's all good. I like that face. So nice. Alright, so here we can save. Playfully crink crinkling. I've never seen that word before. Uh, through the leaves fills you with determination. Of course, everything does. Alright, I think we're gonna go for like 20 minute parts. Oh, random encounter. Wimson uh, approached meekly. Okay. Uh, back. Item Mercy. Alright, let's uh, check. He has five attacks, zero defense. This monster is too sensitive to fight. Yeah, it seems like he's like, ah, Grims, forgive me. But what? Oh shit, I'm supposed to avoid them. Continue to mutter apologies. Okay. Terrorize. Console, let's do that. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. You won. And I got nothing for it. Well then, let's get our health back. And return. Let's just talk to the froggy man. Ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human. <laughs> alright, alright. I like that, you have different ways to, you know, handle the battles. I mean, in Final Fantasy it's like you must you must kill the enemies. And I am a guy who loves choices in video games. So, oh, here we go again. Wimson, how about I attack you a little bit? Oh, I'm sorry. But I got some XP for that, so that's... And the frog disappeared. I guess he was kind of disappointed in me. says take one take a piece of candy yeah yeah sure you took a piece of candy press C to open the menu okay monster candy info monster candy heals 10 HP has a distinct non liquor licorice flavor okie doke okay we do have random encounters and uh, let's not kill him this time. Let's terrorize him instead. Erase your arms and wiggle your fingers. Wimson freaks out. I can't handle this! He's hyperventilating. Oh shit. Uh, let's do a weak attack then. Right there. And he still died, okay. I'm sorry. This seems a little bit too suspicious. Yeah, I knew it. Oh. Froggit hopped close. Okay, this time I want to threat you. Didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyway. <laughs> shiver, shiver. Uh, am I supposed... Never mind then. Okay, you're supposed to dodge those. I get it. Yeah, let's uh, check him. Let's see, he has... Okay, de defense. Life is difficult for this enemy. <laughs> croak, croak. Oh. No, no. Seems uh, reluctant to fight you. Let's do a very weak attack. There we go. No. Nope. Yeah, I know I suck. Just give me a break already. Ribbit, ribbit. Does he want to fight me? Um... He doesn't... Let's see if Mercy helps spare. He won! He got one gold for that. Okay. And we're back. Let's see, we could use the monster candy. Give her health back. Your health. Your HP was maxed out. Ring! Hello, this is Toria. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? Cinnamon or butter... Scotch, butter scotch. I guess cinnamon actually. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. That's not gonna be important later. Hello, this is Tor. 
you, you do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your pref preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, uh, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. I didn't get to answer, maybe I hate them. Uh, three out of four grey rocks recommend you recommend you push them. Okay. And we have another winsome. Um, all right. So the cons the console didn't work on him, right? And he runs away. <laughs> I like that primitive way of pushing rocks. It's a boom. Just do it. Doesn't um, you, you don't go slow or anything. You just push it. Um, right. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall down here. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Please don't step on the leaves. Well, what if I do? Okay. So just go to. Oh, two of them. Okay, frog it. Enough of your shit. I have no choice. Oh, holy crap. That's extremely cool. That their patterns mix when they're two enemies. I really like that. Meow. Okay. He's trying to run away. Uh, Alright then, let's... Let's uh, spare him. You won. You get one gold. Okay. So the wall go down straight. Go like two blocks or something, if you can call it blocks. Up to that one and then go down again. All right. So I should be able to just go down like this and over here to this one. I cannot touch that one, I guess. So let's go down again. And both of them again. Alright, so this time, Wimson, get the fuck out of here. Mm hmm. Hops to and fro. Okay. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Meow. This is one of the most interesting combat styles I've ever seen. It's really, really nice. So I'm using a stick to attack them, right? What was it? All the way to the right? Yeah, okay. We have three rocks. And we have two. Okay. Lots of battles! What? Mold small. Mold small. Okay, let's uh, try talking to it. Uh, flirt. <laughs> You wiggle your hips, small, small, wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Scorch. Oh. Oh, oh, that reminded me of Super Metroid. Uh, the sponge boss. No, not sponge. You know that green thing that dingles around. Kind of the same pattern. Um, small, small weights uh, pensively. Pensively. Uh, so he flirted back. Um, imitate. <laughs> Let's do that. You lie mob. You lie immobile with small small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Burble, burble. Hey. So does this help in any way? Uh, check. Six attack, no defense. Stereotypical. Uh, curvaceous. Curvaceous. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Attractive, but no brains. Slime sounds. And it goes, oh, I see, nice. What's all of these difficult words? I can't take it. Now, yeah, let's just keep on attacking. I guess we need to level up and stuff to get more. Your love increased by killing an innocent being. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? 
<laughs> you fucking dick. That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Was that helpful? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? <laughs> You're giving me a real workout. <laughs> I'm not trusting you, you little shit. Aren't things easier when you just ask? Yeah, I guess so, but I'm not used to talking to rocks. Oh, fucking hell. Um, flee. And the heart just runs away. Okay, I I'm trusting you this time. Okay, that could be a gimmick or something like, once I go over, I can't go back. But uh, he was nice enough to say that. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Of course it fucking does. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. <laughs> oh crap, and there is a mouse hole. It even makes a sound. Let's push here 100 times, I know that's a... That's the secret. It must be something about this, right? No? Okay, nothing. I thought there was going to be something, but apparently not. Okay then, so this would be a good way to... A good place to stop the first episode. So I will thank you all very much for watching. And look forward to the new one. As I said, no spoilers, please. Uh, they will be deleted and such. So, we will continue here next time. And uh, with that... Goodbye. This game is amazing. I like it.